Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can automatically highlight a number in a list and also count how many times that number occurs in a list. So I've got the finished article here. If I type a number in this green box, for example, number four, the formula underneath tells me that there are two items, number four, in that list and I've got conditional formatting flagging them up for me so I can visually see them. If I put that back to 23, you can see that there are five and five are highlighted. So basically how I've done this, if if I just copy this list, and just paste it over here, just paste values. So I've got a list of values there. I do my little box at the top. So that's where the form is gonna go and this is the formula that I'm going to use. But first of all, what I need to do is set up conditional formatting. So I'll highlight the list, go into conditional formatting, manage rules. Once I'm in the manage rules box, I'm going new rule, only format cells that contain. And then I'm going to select this equal to, and then click into this cell and then click that green cell. So if any of these are equal to whatever goes in there, format, and then I'm going to pick amber as a colour, click OK to that, OK again, OK again. So at the moment nothing there, but if I put 23 in there, that flags up amber. So I now know that works. I'll leave that 23 there, because what I want the count if function to do is to tell me how many times 23 occurs in this list. So obviously I've got that list visual, but that could go down quite a long way, 10,000 lines maybe. I wouldn't be able to visually see them all, so I want to use the count if function to count how many there are in that particular list. So if I use that, equals count, count if. So it wants a range. Um, I'm gonna click on column F. So that will pick up anything getting added at the bottom, comma. And then it needs to be looking at this cell, G1. And if I close that, tick, tells me that there are five items in that list and if I type another list another number down there 23 there are now six so that's going to pick up anything going in the list underneath now I could also do it like this um, if that's not what you want you might want to know or want a list that counts them so I could do it like this if I go into the next column equals count if select the same range comma and this time click on it, this first cell so that's just going to pull down close the bracket on that click the tick so that's telling me that there are there's one one two three in that list as I pull it down though you can see how it's picking that up it's telling me that there's seven of those so you can see the numbers coming in there and if you delete some of these numbers, that number will change. Seven's gone back down to five and so on and so on. So it's just looking across and telling you how many there are in there. I think this one's a bit more useful. But the county function is very flexible. Great little tool. Hopefully this video has been of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.